Hi, this is Story Wilson with RSWSolutions.com. Today I'm excited to show you a new piece of software that I've been programming. It's taken many hundreds of hours, but here we are. It is the 4D CAN software tool, and it is designed to communicate with the Land Rover LR3 class of vehicles. The software is paired with a very inexpensive, off-the-shelf ELM 327-based chip. These chips are very common. Uh, it's a, a you know a USB to OBD2 transceiver, and uh, these are very common off-the-shelf chips. The software tool is just about done, so I thought I'd give you a sneak peek of what's going on here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at our COM ports. We have one COM port that's been detected. We're going to connect with that COM port, which the ELM327 chip is based on. And we're going to do some communications, and there it is. We, the software found the ELM327 chip, so now we are ready to proceed with the communication steps. We're going to do some uh, quick communication here. You can see some of the modules that are working. We're going to communicate with the air suspension module, and we're going to open communications. Here's some information on what's going on in the background. Uh, you'll see transmit and receive going on. We're going to read the fault codes. And here's a listing of the fault codes that are currently on this module. We can clear the fault codes, and then we'll stop the communication session. Now, uh, all of this happened. Here's our listing of fault codes. Now, another feature which will be very handy is that a diagnostic log file is created. And we can open up that diagnostic log file. It's a text file. It's created automatically in the background. And if we look at that text file, um, it's labeled with a date. And there's a date and timestamp. Uh, there's a listing of, it says we communicate with the air suspension. Here's some of the uh, communication steps that we took, and here are the re resulting fault codes from that uh, communication session. Uh, a new file is created every time, uh, every day, and so you can have kind of a running log of what's been happening with your uh, vehicle system. Some other functions that are programmed in, uh, you can retrieve uh, live height sensor data, for example and it will graph it for you. So if we look at the left front sensor, we can uh, we see uh, uh, data coming back in, and we can of course stop that data. But the idea here is that you can see uh, height sensor data and hopefully uh, you can visualize a faulty height sensor because this reading will be dancing and jumping around all over the place. So this should be very useful for some people. Uh, there's also another section for just some of the air suspension sensors, the, the tank pressure and the, and the pump temperature. I uh, hope to add more uh, sensor data here from other systems. But here's a pretty good uh, uh, sneak peek of um, the RSW Solutions 4D CAN software. Hopefully uh, you will find it useful. And uh, check out my website, www.rswsolutions.com, for more information. Thanks for watching.